Thursday night, Sam Henchfield was found dead in the backseat of a red Mustang near Eel River. Gunshot wound to the head. No sign of a struggle. The Fortuna Police Department won't release any other findings. Sunday mornings have always been boring. There's no work. Barely anything is open here in Fortuna on Sundays, heaven forbid. So I do the one thing most everyone else does. I go to church. So you're the one that found Sam's body. How terrible. Can you believe it? And right after that drug bust at Sunset View House last month. I don't know what this town is coming to. I wouldn't be surprised if Daisy had something to do with it. Lord knows her and Sam fought like Kilkenny cats. Cal, you must tell me everything. I would like to welcome huh. everyone today after who has come to service. worship in the house of the Lord. Please be seated. Detective Jimmy Addison was the one who questioned me. I knew he wished that anybody but me had come across the crime scene. As a reporter, I was by no means Jimmy's best friend. Did you notice anything unusual? Oh, you mean besides the dead body? You have to make everything difficult. You've asked me the same question three times. <clears throat> Okay, you can go. But if you think of anything else, I better not find out about it from the paper. You feeling all right, Jimmy? Go home, Bonner. As we move into a time of prayer today, let us keep the Hinchfield family in our thoughts. May we all bow our heads together what the hell is this, Cal? Oh, look, it's the article I wrote. Killer on the loose? Is Fortuna safe? It's not my fault I need something to publish. Besides, criticizing the Fortuna PD, it's a little controversy. Why don't you have to bring up the Sunset View drug bust again? I mean, that has nothing to do with Sam's death. You don't know that. Damn it, Cal! Look, Jimmy, hardly anyone reads the paper anymore, and maybe if you're lucky enough, I'll get fired soon. Oh, yeah, that's likely. You know, everybody keeps asking about updates with this case. Everybody thinks they got a tip. Do you know how many people have called the station this morning? Fifteen, and it's not even... Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock! He was always a smiley kind of guy. That's what Reverend Smith said, not me. A smiley kind of guy. Cal. Ah, hell. Do you believe what you wrote in the paper? About Sam's death having to do with Sunset View? I don't know. I'm sorry, Daisy. You know I gotta write whatever gets people to read. But I think you might be right. Shortly after uh, the drug bust, Sam would keep leaving the house late at night and come back. He was always high on something. But then I found his stash. And he kept saying that it was new prescriptions from Dr. Jenkins, but I flushed him down the toilet. And then the next night, he... <laughs> I know what everybody thinks about him. I know what everybody says. But he would never leave me like that, Cal. And death really does seem to heal all wounds. So what are you doing this Friday night? You must know by now that's when I work. <sighs> I guess we're going to have to find a different night. Mm. But speaking of work, I gotta... You're not going already. 
Oh, there was something I wanted to ask you. Have there been any more updates with the case? Cal, you know I can't talk about that. Come on, Alice. Go home, Cal. I've got work to do. back now. Listen, you don't mind working through lunch, do you? I've got to take the Sunset View drugs down to the mortuary to have them incinerated. Could have sworn we confiscated more, though. Well, it's all accounted for. The amounts match the original paperwork. Hmm. Speaking of paperwork, let me give this to the chief when he gets back in. What is it? I'll close the Hinchfield case. Suicide. Lunch? Sure, it's no problem. Thanks. Suicide? Cal! Don't. Please don't. You don't have anything to worry about. Sam's death being ruled a suicide so quickly didn't add up, so I decided to visit Vinny's motel, which happened to be right next to the crime scene. And I was hearing some weird noises, but... It was just a leak on account of all the rain. I had to dish out a couple hundred bucks to get that fixed. I was wondering if maybe you had anything you could say about Sam? Uh, did you know him very well? Not especially well. Why do you care? Well, the motel's right next to Eel River. That's where Sam was found. So what, it's a closed case? I got nothing to do with it. I know, it. I know. I'm just gathering more material for my next article. You know, things like this don't happen around here very often. I can't just be giving out info for free now, can I? <laughs> uh, All right. You want something? Sam and Molly Addison. Been coming here pretty regularly for the past month. And last Tuesday, Jimmy followed Molly to one of her and Sam's little rendezvous. Caused a big scene right here in the lobby. Sam and Jimmy's wife? Do you have the rest of the night? Well, sure, but they all left after that. There ain't nothing else to see. Pull it up anyway. See? I told ya. Somebody tell Chief Stewart. Oh, no, 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 no. What's this about? Sam? <laughs> Case is closed, Bonner. But you already know that. You've obviously overlooked a few things. Get out of here, Cal. Why don't you go write your next little sensationalist piece? <laughs> what happened to your leg, Jimmy? You didn't have that limp last week. You having fun playing right, detective? Clearly you're not capable of doing your own job. What the hell is going on out here? Look, Chief, I need to talk to you in there. Bonner, you need to go. 
I just got back from Vinny's motel, right? And I saw some surveillance footage. As I'm sure Detective Addison has told you. The Hinchfield case Sam is was at the motel the night that he died. Yeah, we know that. If you were over there talking to that old windbag, Benny, then you know why, too. You write any of this in the paper, I swear to God. Detective Addison, that's enough. Bonner, you need to go. Now. I couldn't believe how blind the PD was being. And what more was I supposed to do? on Sam's case file. You're right. Jimmy was real quick to call it a suicide, so I was curious, okay? But when I was reading, I noticed that the ballistics report doesn't match the gun found in the car. It matches the Fortuna PD's standard issued guns. Chief, what do you think you're doing? Listen. For the love of God! Please, I've got information about Sam's case. I think that I... I have some suspicions about Detective Addison. Okay, no, just, just hear me out. Jimmy's been acting strange recently. And I think it might be possible that he killed Sam. Honor, oh, this is ridiculous. I know you and Detective Addison have never gotten along. That's, that's not all. Today, Vinny told me that Sam and Jimmy's wife had been having an affair. And that Jimmy just found out about it last week. And, and what about that limp? I mean, Jimmy didn't have that before Sam's dead body turned up. The ballistics report matches the PD's guns. How did you get that? Just look at it. You didn't believe me. Are you kidding me, Bonner? Not even the damn police report. Falsifying a police report? You know, maybe it's best. But you leave it alone, Cal. You've done all that you can do. I'll see you around, Alice. I didn't want to believe it. But there was one thing in this whole mess that wasn't adding up. One thing that connected Sam and the drugs from Sunset View. Confirm my suspicion. Why couldn't you just leave it alone, Cal? Yeah, I just came like such a nice young man. And so soon after seeing Tom.